Hello and welcome to YouTube. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to use Kramer's rule to solve three equations with three unknowns. Uh, in this example, uh, it says consider the following commodity market model QD1 equal 23 minus 5P1 plus P2 plus P3 and QD2 and QD. In this example, we have three equations and three unknowns the, th the three unknowns is p1 p2 and p3 and uh, before i start uh, let me define uh, the variables uh, qd is the quantity demand qs is the quantity supply and p stand for the price of each goods in this uh, example I'm going to list a step. The first step, I'm going to set both equation to equal each other. Then the second step, I will move the variables to one side and the constants on the other side. And after that, I will combine like terms. And the third step, I will transfer the equation to a matrix format. And the final step, I'm going to show you how to use Kramer's rule to solve the problem and find the equilibrium prices for P1, P2, and P3. I'm going to set uh, QD1 equal to QS1. And, and then I will set QD2 equal to QS2. And then QD3 equal to QS3. Now I set both equations equal each other and the next step I will move the variables to one side and the constants and the other side while I'm moving the variables to one side and the constants to the other side I will also combine like terms so here we go I set both equation equal each other I move the variables I combine like terms now I am ready to transfer this information that I have to a matrix format. And this is how the equation looks like when you transfer it to a matrix format. This matrix, matrix A, P, the variables that you're trying to solve, it's a matrix X, and this one is the matrix D, the constant of the equation. So in order for me to find P1, I need to divide determinant of a1 by the determinant of a and p2 determinant of a2 divided by determinant of a and p3 is determinant of a3 divided by the determinant of a now determinant a is basically this one we can we can get the determinant of a but for a1 i will show you how to get the determinant of a1 a2 and a3 Basically, the determinant of A1 is you replace the first column in the determinant A by the constant matrix here, by this column. And you leave the other two columns and change. This is for matrix A1. For A2, you do the same thing. You replace the second column in, in the matrix A with the constant and you leave the other two columns and change. And matrix three, you replace the third column on the matrix A with the constant. Now, it's just a simple division. You divide this matrix, A1, by A to get the P1. And you divide this matrix by this matrix to get P2 and you divide this matrix by this matrix to get P3. Okay, so let's set it up and we'll, we'll see how we're gonna solve this problem. So we have the following. The matrix A1 divided by the matrix A. And the, the second one, we have matrix A2 we are, when we're gonna divide it by matrix A. And the third one, we have A3 and we're going to divide it by A. So in this cell, hit equal sign and use the following function MD, 
when you see the function start to emerge here, hit tab. Function looking for array, single array, highlight this uh, matrix, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. So the determinant of A1 is negative 1604. On the this cell, hit equal sign, MD, hit tab, highlight, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. Second one, click on this cell here, hit equal sign, MD, hit tab, highlight this matrix, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. This cell, you hit equal sign, MD, tab, and hi highlight this matrix, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. The last one here, hit equal sign, MD, tab. You highlight this one, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. Here, you hit equal sign, MD, tab. Highlight this matrix, close parentheses, and hit control shift enter. All right, so you have determinant here for A1, determinant A2, and determinant of A3. And this is the determinant of A. Now it's just simple division. Equal sign, M, this one divided by this, hit enter. In this cell, hit equal sign, this divided by this, hit enter. And the last one, equal sign, this, divide by this one, and hit it, enter. Here we go. So the equilibrium prices for P1 is 4. The equilibrium prices for P2 is 7. And the equilibrium prices for P3 is 6. Thank you for watching.